Hi there. <laughs> Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Well, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. And you are, let me see. My name is Sham. Okay. And it says you're located in India. Yes. Okay. Okay. I am in India. What's, uh, what city or what part of India are you in? Um, I'm, I, I live in around Delhi. Delhi. Okay. Yes. But have you grown up in India or are you from yes. a different place? Okay. Yes. I grew up in India, but I'm originally from Nepal. From Nepal. Okay. Hmm. Ah, House this of is mountains. A, Home of mountains. It is a place that I want to travel to sometime. Uh, you know, like when I was a child, I met, or well, my grandfather was friends with uh, a New Zealander called Edmund Hillary. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he was the first person to climb Mount Everest. Really? Uh, yeah, it was a New Zealander who, who climbed Mount Everest with uh, Sherpa Tenzing. He was a Nepalese uh, mm. Sherpa who went with Oh, yeah, him. Sherpa, yeah. Sherpas yeah. are the people who live in the mountains. Yeah, yeah. They can survive there. Yeah, and uh, people have been watching these Netflix documentaries about the, sure, yeah. the people hiking up there. Yeah, it's mm, really... Really interesting. What, what is your name, sir? Uh, Cameron. Cameron. Yeah, or Cam. Um, where, where is this country? New Zealand? In Europe? I'm guessing. Uh, right. New, New Zealand is in... Uh, New Zealand. It's near Australia, in the south oh, of the world. I see. In the south so, of the world. Okay, got uh, it. South from here, we have... Uh, Australia is much bigger than New Zealand. Mm -hmm. but, so, the, uh, so New Zealand people also speak English. The native language is English. Well, oh, here, here's the map here. We have a native language called Maori. Uh -huh. But not many people speak it. it wow, well, your the, country is literally at the end of the world. Uh, it's a long way, but it's one of the first countries to get uh, to see the sun. So New Zealand is oh. ahead of the rest of the world. <laughs> I see. What's the temp How's the weather there? Uh, well, now it is autumn, so it's getting colder. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's two islands, mm -hmm. and the, the South Island has mountains and in this part but then the the northern part of new zealand doesn't get much snow it's mostly uh mm. you get a little bit of rain rain how is and, life uh, in new zealand it looks uh, like close to nature it's uh it's a popular place to visit it has good lifestyle it's a little expensive now because we're so far from everywhere else. Mm -hmm. The uh, transportation costs are a bit high. We, we export a lot of meat and vegetables, fruits, milk. Uh, we export mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. I see. And, and also have tourism. Cow? We have a, a lot of cows and a lot of sheep. Oh, I see. So it was the main business there, work? The main industry is tourism. Tourism, okay. Was it was it famous for? Well, perhaps you've heard of the movie Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. This was this is all filmed in New Zealand. Uh, uh -huh. In fact, when they filmed the first one, they needed a lot of people to mm -hmm. be in the film, in the battles. Uh, so when I was 21, I was an elf in the first Lord of the Rings. You were in the movie? 
Yeah, in the, in the background, hold it, holding a sword. Already. A, a sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see. So, do they pay you like for this kind of roles? Uh, a little bit. It was uh, a few hours of work, and the problem is you're waiting a long time. Uh -huh. uh, we got woken at five o'clock in the morning. We mm. got dressed, and they needed us at three p.m. in the afternoon. So mm. you don't you don't know when they're going to need you. I see. So are you an actor? No. To to be an extra, you just stand in the background. <laughs> oh, so what do you call that? Background actor? Extra and extra. An extra. You're an I extra see. person, an extra actor. Uh, I see. How many extras were there? Ah, uh, they needed hundreds and hundreds. So, uh, so how much uh, they're likely to pay to all the hundreds? Ah, uh, like at the time, it was a hundred New Zealand dollars for the day. Oh, which isn't worth I've much been... now. <laughs> I see. It's right. more and how, about. And how do you get the role? like do you have did you have to get did you have to give audition no this was before <laughs> we even had the internet like well oh, no we I had see. internet but we didn't have any smartphones uh -huh. and they put advertisements in the newspaper <laughs> okay told oh, people days. yeah they told people if you want to be an extra or be in the movie go mm. to the go to town take a photo they take a photo of you and make a little file mm. call you if they need you i see so, uh, i'm really uh curious about the life in new zealand hmm. does it have uh, buildings or is it covered with mountains uh it has everything we have volcanoes we have mountains this this is auckland mm. city the capital of new zealand wow. it's only it's i think it's three million people live here mm -hmm. and that's like the population of uh, delhi it's it's a small country only five million people in the whole country um mm. people people go to places like queenstown to see scenery to see mountains mm, uh, we see. have we have like uh waterfalls lakes i see okay see. and what do you work is it your main job Cambly? uh for now i'm doing this while i live in indonesia and working on some other you, little projects some you're in indonesia right now I'm living in uh, the island of Lombok in Indonesia. You're in Indonesia right now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't know that. How is Indonesia? Uh, it's, it's nice. I, I like surfing. And this is the island of Bali. Which uh -huh, is I know Bali. Very popular. Yeah. How far is it from your country? How many hours of flight? If I fly from Bali to New Zealand, it's eight hours. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Eight hours, I see. Is it a direct flight? You can get some direct flights now. Uh, I lived in the bottom of Bali for the last year. And now. How long have you been living there? Uh, I was here for one year. Mm hmm. And now I'm in uh, this island, Lombok. Uh huh. Lombok. I see. Uh, and so uh, we have. How, uh, so how is the life uh, in in Indonesia? Do they have big mountains or buildings or luxurious things? Uh, we have this volcano, which is uh, three thousand six hundred meters. Uh huh. It's, it's the second Austin. highest. Uh, it's about a two-hour drive from where I am. Mm. And it's, it's it's steam coming out of it. 
you can hike it. you can hike and you can camp at the top mm -hmm. it takes about three days to go up and back down i see it's not is it not dangerous it's not dangerous but you do have to be a bit fit you uh -huh. know it's 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 not high by nepalese mountains but 3600 meters is the second highest volcano in indonesia mm. if, if you're lucky if you're really lucky you might get a view like this oh from the top that's mesmerizing yeah but to, uh, do you have you do you go back to nepal v very often do you have family oh, there yeah we have family there but i haven't been there very often i would yeah, plan okay. to go next year okay yes have you been to nepal i haven't been uh, is it Kathmandu? is that the capital yes yeah uh i would love to go i also want to go to india next year Mm, I see. How but, people uh, learn English in New Zealand? Is it their like second language, first language, or the the first language? Oh, so, I see. Uh, you said in the beginning you said there's another language. There is a a language traditionally spoken by the tribal people of New Zealand, mm -hmm. uh, Maori but it's it's just for we use it for tradition and for culture most people don't speak maori mm -hmm. uh, they never I had see. a written language uh when the the british came and uh, the maori didn't have a written language it was just mm -hmm. spoken mm -hmm. um, i see so uh my another question is where is the cost of living in bali or indonesia how much uh, do you need to pay per month oh, oh. About, from all the expenses it's uh, a good question um it depends where you live because in bali now it is really really expensive uh well the south of bali has become almost the same price as developed countries mm. but if you live on lombok where i live uh rent is much cheaper mm -hmm. maybe you would spend like one one or two thousand dollars a month for everything mm -hmm. for everything I, I think so yeah as a food uh, rent traveling everything I think so, yeah. And how about in New Zealand? Oh, probably three times that. <laughs> Two times six thousand mm, dollars? Probably not that much. Nah, not nah, not that much. Maybe like three and a half. Yeah, I, I think. I see. What's the demand? Um, what, was the demanding uh like job in new zealand right now demanding you know job um i think they need maybe farm workers farm workers people to work on farms uh -huh. and also you know we have a, a lot of doctors and medical staff that come from places like india mm -hmm. uh, and china and most people move there for a lifestyle choice while people who study in new zealand go to another country to earn more money mm -hmm. uh, and probably like construction workers builders tradesmen mm -hmm. uh, is also in demand because there's a lot of new housing being built I see. what's uh, the average salary in New Zealand I would say about 40,000 US dollars I think per month oh, per year okay per year how much is that mm. month? uh good question but I see the time is about to yep. run out uh sure I'll Good speaking with you, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye. See you.